Hey guys, hey, this is Rich. Hey, I want to show you another video of uh, me doing some trail riding on the V11. Um, no, I, I'm going to speed up the, the video here because it's not, it's not the most exciting video to watch, but there's some good things to look out for. Uh, you know, number one, you know, in the last, uh, you know, nighttime trail riding video, I was talking about how you need both lights. Um, you know, in, in this video, you're going to see uh, several turns you know, several instances where, you know, you really couldn't just run just one light on a tight hair turn in. You just can't see what's coming up. Um, but yeah, this was, this was a fun ride, very fun ride. Um, I was riding solo, you know, it was a little spooky. It's been a while since I rode in the forest, you know, by myself. I, uh, I saw lots of animals, uh, encountered a couple deer. Um, they didn't really show up in the video, but um, saw some deer, saw some rabbits, uh, a couple mice. Um, I was keeping my uh, eyes and ears open for bigger things. Um, heard some movement in the forest, but, uh, but that's about it. You know, we, we do have mountain lions in this area, and I heard they like to, uh, to hunt at night, but I think I'm plenty big enough where they might just think twice before uh, coming after me. Yeah, it was, it was, this was a very fun ride. A um, couple lessons learned on this ride, you know. Um, you know, number one, I've, you know, I've got four hundred people that it's you know, very important to uh, you know, change the tire, the tire pressure, you know, you know what you're going to do. And on this trail ride, I had a couple falls. Um, I took a hard fall at the very end of the video, and it was a very expensive fall. You know, I was okay, you know, the, the camera was okay, or no, that the, the camera bit the dust. I actually had to send the camera in to repair. So, if anyone out there is thinking of getting the Insta360 ONE X2, I highly recommend you pay Forty dollars extra. I think it's forty bucks for the. Um, I think they call it Instacare, where if anything happens to your camera, you know anything at all, um, you just ship it to them and they fix it. Um, I've, I've heard good things about it, and I've heard it's definitely worth it. You know, these 360 cameras have these you know, two big old bubble lenses, you know, just begging to get scratched and. I've taken a couple falls with the, the camera and no scratches and then boom had a had a pretty rough fall you're gonna see at the end of this uh, the end of this vid it was a pretty rough fall I, uh, but but yeah and I, I, had, I had another fall in this but it was it was a, a low speed fall um, I just hit some pack like smooth river stone with, uh, I don't know if you've ever been on a northwest trail, but uh, we get like a, sometimes we'll get like a, like a silt or, you know, a little layer of mud over the top of it, and when it's damp, it's, it's like ice, and, uh, you know, combined with my, my tire pressure too high, you know, I, I really think that's why I took both spills. I probably should have learned after the first spill and say, you know, maybe I should check that, uh, that old tire pressure. But, uh, but yeah, I was running way too high for this. I, I just put slime in my tires and uh, I was doing some road riding. I had, you know, with my weight, I, I usually run the road around 40 PSI, which is, you know, it's, I think that's much higher than most people run it. But I also weigh more than uh, just about everyone else I know that rides the V11. So, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking for trails. Um, I, I'm thinking 27-ish, maybe 26. Um, I'd like to see how it goes. I, you know, I don't want to bottom out and damage the, uh, the rim, but I would definitely like more tire on the trails to, um, you know, the keep, the keep. Because, you know, if you're watching this, you're probably into EUCs, and uh, it's pretty trippy when you're learning and you kind of get that lateral movement, you know, you're, you're, you know, you know how to ride, so you got the forward and back movement, 
um, but when you get that lateral side slip, um, boy, it's a weird feeling. And uh, you know, I, I like, like I said, I do believe if I dialed in the pressure a little better, I wouldn't have had uh, quite so much lateral movement in some of the areas. Yeah, yeah. But, but you know, this, this was a challenging trail. This is the Redmond uh, Watershed Trail, and. Uh, I, I can't uh, harp enough. You know, during the day it's quite, quite challenging on an EUC because uh, there's so many horses here on a good day. You know, you don't want to scoop the horses, so it's kind of a challenge. Now I think I'm, I think I'm coming up here real soon to the uh, end of the video, and you can see I'm cruising down the trail, and. I'm not quite sure what triggered this crash. I know it was super slippery. It was, it was a muddy area with those tightly packed rocks that I was telling about. But you see that horse turd right there? I think I did a little swerve. You know, I was, you know, I was totally, uh, you know, carving, ripping it up. And I saw that horse turd, and I think I went through evasive maneuvers and just lost it. And uh, I was probably going around 20 miles an hour. But yeah. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I'm going to post more videos of my rides uh, soon. So, you know, subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.